Hi, I'm Gary Berger of Berger Law, and this is my mom, Joan Berger, also of Berger Law. Uh, we were just doing some math, and we have a combined 64 years of law, legal experience. One of the questions I frequently get that, from my clients, and I'd like to a answer now, is settlement versus trial. Thoughts? Okay. Um, first of all, your lawyer always has to be ready for trial. Uh, that is a strong um, incentive for the other side, that is the people that we sue, to settle the case. It makes your case more valuable. Um, so most cases end up settling, but again, it might be almost on the courthouse steps, as we said. You have to be aggressive and ready for trial, and um, we certainly do that. So uh, every, they say 90% of the case is settled, but ultimately the only power that you have is to go to trial and get a verdict, regardless of how you're injured. Insurance companies don't have to pay you. Doctors who commit malpractice don't have to pay you. It's only when you go prove your case. Many times, especially in two, these days, 2016, insurance companies are cheap and they don't want to pay you. Insurance companies want to take premiums and deny claims. So we frequently have cases where we get all the medical give get all this stuff and we get low offers from insurance companies regardless of the fact that we're very aggressive demand high settlements so um, many times that means that we end up filing suit but just because you file suit doesn't mean you're going to trial you know that's right it's a long process so filing suit and then the lawyer your lawyer has to be aggressive in getting the documentation and getting the statements from the other parties and preparing for trial. And as he prepares, or he or she prepares for trial, then your case is more and more settlement ready. Because really no, I always used to say this during my mediation, no a normal person likes to go to trial. Lawyers like to go to trial. Uh, but the rest, of, the rest of you really don't. And so because it's unpredictable and it's risky, a settlement is for sure. So um, do not be afraid to consider settlement. It doesn't mean you're giving in. It means that you're going to, and your lawyer will advise you, you're, not, you're going to get the best value that you possibly can for your set of facts. And we do try cases. We've tried many this year already. We try many every year. But what you want to do from a lawyer's point of view, my, one of my duties to my client is make sure that I don't leave any money on the table. So I get the highest value, full compensation, not 80% compensation, but full compensation for all of the injuries that we can expect at trial. Now, so we certainly would like to settle all, we could like to settle many cases, and we certainly do. Um, but the tr having a trial is the is the ultimately the only power. However, I will echo what Judge Berger said: is that at the end of a case, regardless of the jury verdict, no light is going to shine down from heaven and say one person's right and one person's wrong. You're not going to get that validation. This is not. We're not in the vengeance business. This is to settle a civil claim, to resolve a civil dispute, and and we do it. It's it, the jury system is the worst, best system we have to do so. Um, so, with that being said, um, and and with those understandings, you know, many times it is better to settle. You have a sure result, but if you have a recalcitrant defendant or a defendant who's not admitting liability, or there's a disparate view of the level of damages, and they want to roll the dice, we certainly try the cases you know that that's for sure because remember also the jury is there I have in fact on my years on the bench and even practicing um, rarely does the jury just give the plaintiff everything they ask for so the jury is going to in their jury room during their deliberations compromise they're going to say well maybe there shouldn't have been that many doctor visits or maybe it's not all due to this accident and so uh, it, the trial is great, but if the case can be settled for a fair and reasonable amount, that's what I would rec recommend as, uh, as a mediator and as a judge, too. Yeah, I've rarely had someone say, hey, not only did I get in this accident or have this happen to me, now I want to go through a year and a half of litigation and make myself go through the stress of trial. Well, I hope we answered some of your questions about trial versus settlement. If you have more, call us at 314-542-2222, as you hear on that phone right now. Um, visit our website, burgerlaw.com. We answer a lot of questions. Call us, email us. Facebook message us, visit with us, and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Thanks, Mom. Thanks.